Hey, who we got joining? Welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? Just trying to spread because I went on a little early. Earlier than planned. So who's watching? Boy, they've got this now. I can't figure it out. I am so sorry. Okay. Hi, miss. How are you? We're going to be working with my new sign today. Check it out. Did someone say corn? <laughs> you know me. Is there any squelching noise? Do you hear any squelching noise? Let me know if you do. They used to market this back in the 1800s when they when they first came out with this. They called it chicken feed. Isn't that not isn't that funny? If y'all wouldn't mind spread and I'd appreciate it because I came on a little early. But sound check, you can hear okay? Pull the table back a little so you have better view of the wreath. There we go. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I had it. Here it is. Here's the original advertising. Isn't that hilarious? And see, something worth crowing for. I just thought that was hilarious. Everybody has does, you know, candy corn and they don't think chicken. And and I really is it called chicken feed there? It's called candy corn here. That's funny. Ha. Huh. That is too funny. I just happened to, I thought, you know what, I'm going to find out what the history on candy corn is. I had no idea it was geared, the advertising back then was geared as chicken feed. But I thought that was too funny. Yeah, just little fun facts. Okay, I've got an 18 inch wreath base here. It's a black pine wreath. It's one I had left over from last year. I tried to get them. I cannot get them. They do not carry them anymore. They're sold out. So, we're gonna be working with this sign. I did already post it in my Etsy shop boutique. So, it's, it's in the comments. Oh, okay, it's still called that, but they call, okay, I gotcha. It just takes me a little while <laughs> with the delay and everything. All right, it's okay. I don't know, but a lot of people don't know that that's what it used to be called. So I just thought that was funny. <laughs> cool. Neat. All right, so we're gonna be working with this. I have a few new signs to show you, and I started this weekend pumping out garden flag designs, and I'm so happy with them. I've already had a bunch of orders already, and I haven't even listed them yet. So, hi, Jean, how are you? We're gonna be working with this one. Did someone, did someone say corn? Because we were just talking about it, Jean. I don't know if you were on, but Back in the 1800s, that's what they they called it, chicken feed. Something worth crowing about. 
I had to print off the advertisement because I just thought that was so funny. I'm going to have to find a sign or something to put that on. So, yeah. All right. So, this is an 18-inch wreath base. It's a black pine wreath base. I have been wanting to do a candy corn wreath for so long. And I bought these, and I don't like them in this wreath. So... I will probably do another, a different wreath on Wednesday. Um, I, I guess by Wednesday I'll have to come up with a different sign. <laughs> so, but I think I want this, this is just an eight inch round, okay, sign, circle sign. So, I did, and the reason I'm messing with it because I made this today. And I'm going to put this on the in the wreath. Make it look like he's sticking his head out of the wreath that he heard somebody say corn. So that's why I'm messing with it. Because I want this to stick down in looking like he's... And he's the exact chicken that's in the sign. Which I thought was funny. If you wouldn't mind spreading for me, I'd really appreciate it. I've decided I'm going to go back to Monday nights again, Monday nights and Wednesday. Um, it's it's a lot easier for me. So, but yeah, I want to get this guy in here to look like he's coming out of the wreath. There, how's that look? Doesn't that look cute? This is gonna be one of a kind. And I think I could have used less tinsel tie. I don't think I needed that much. But we'll work it. Come on. I have better pliers, but they're in the other room. So... So there you go. It looks like he heard someone say corn and he's popping out. Isn't he cute? I, I had originally made one with the legs and the arms and everything and I thought, no, that doesn't do it. Aw, oh, thank you, hon. I appreciate it. And then I think I'm going to do this right here. I have some, um, I'm not sure I'm going to use that, you know what I'm talking about, the mesh tubing. I kind of like this, so I'm thinking of using that. I have some pom-poms if I want to use that. This came from Joanne, or yeah, Joanne's, so I may put some of that in there. Um, I could put some pip berries in there too. Or I could put some flowers around him. Or I could do some leaves. So it's going to be a combination of everything as I go along. And I have a few ribbon choices. All right, now this definitely I'm going to use this candy corn one. I have, I'm not sure. I kind of like this. I'm not sold 100% on that. I may just go to this. I'm, not, I'm, I'm back and forth. I'm flip-flopping. I know, right? It's just those beady eyeballs. They just crack me up. Um, let's see. I could even add that if I wanted. With maybe... Maybe I could just do all three small colors. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm just trying to mess with it, you know, and come up with something different. Everybody else does everything. Candy corn, it's, it's always the same. And it's like I want to do something different. But I kind of like these two together. I'm just not sure if I want to put the white, the yellow on the bottom 
and then go for the striped and then go for the candy cane or the candy corn what's your thoughts I did I do I like this I think that pulls out the coloring in the sign I actually got this from um, Amy the BAM wreaths she had that listed in her shop and I can't find it anywhere and there was actually 20 yards in this, which is unusual. I mean, I do like those two together. Let's have some fun with the ribbon. Come on, Missy. What are you feeling? <laughs> but I definitely love these two. Could even... Nah. No, I really like this one. It was back to school here today. You like that one? Yeah. I know, right? That was my feeling. It had to stay on the outside. And with the sign, I thought, okay... That's probably the better place for it. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to put like a solid. I have this orange in two sizes. Could even throw some red in there. You've got red in his comb. Um, but I don't think I have anything red I don't think that'll go real good with the orange. So, let me just look at these colors. I think I like that. Those three colors together. Hi, Karen. Welcome. What do you think of those three colors together? Or we could go with a cream, maybe, underneath. Let's try that one. Cream is one of the colors that are in this year. And this is kind of a white cream. Nah. It was whiter. I'm just trying to see what I have. Maybe, though. Okay, wait a minute. Uh one that'll work. I know it'll look good. Actually, I have a couple that we might be able to... Nope, that's black. <laughs> this one. One of these. I kind of like this one. I kind of like that... Because then I could tie this in, too. I think I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> right? I do. That's the, And I throw a bunch on here, and then I mess with them. And I'm kind of liking like this. That really, really works good with both of those, I think. It, it's it's so hard and it's so hard when you have so many to choose from now I'm just gonna do a simple bow on here I kind of want to get the bow and the sign and and my uh, chicken guy he's I think he's a rooster so with his comb and waddle or whatever it is where is my okay I'll just use this And because I cut these, no, we could probably use this for the sign. So I will use a pipe cleaner because I don't think I have any more of that up here. All right. So I'm going to do about a 10 inch tail. Right? I think we just have too much to choose from. But you know, when you get a new sign or you get something new, you want to, you know what I mean? 
you got to have ribbon to match it. All right. So that's about where I want it. Come on. I'm going to do four. Four loops on the bottom. There we go. Now I can hold it. Y'all having good weather? <laughs> Little chicken dude. <laughs> Maybe that chicken dude needs a bow tie. Where do you think? Somebody posted on my Facebook page today. They actually had arms for a chicken. And they look like fighting muscle arms. It was hilarious. My friends always send me chicken stuff. Because um, we have chickens. And... They're finally laying again, and it's so nice. Because they weren't laying for the longest time, and oh, I had to buy eggs. And I hate having to buy eggs, because the eggs in the store, the yolks are yellow. Mine don't free range, but they get lots of treats like watermelon and pumpkin and... Um, salad and stuff like that and we use a pretty good feed and their um their yolks are almost orange in color because they're so well fed did it oh wow we didn't have any rain in fact i thought it was gonna rain So then I think I'm going to do two of this. Yes, just too much to pick from. There we go. And then I think I'm going to do three. Each time I've graduated down a little bit in size. No, then I think I'm going to go back to four. I can always change it, right? It's it's just a beautiful temp outside right now. Now. That white. Nah. All right. Now, of course, it's the one on the bottom. Now I think I'm going to do just the, just the orange. Just one of the orange. Just as a topper. and see how that is. What do you think? And just as a topper in the middle? Why not? We'll live on the wild side. And let's get that out of the way. We'll save this for the sign. I started out with this one. This is about five. The bottom one, Jean, is about five. And then I dropped it down about an inch. And then this one dropped it down about an inch, too. So each time I dropped it an inch. Kept my tails about the same length. But um, just dropped it down a little. Now, believe it or not, you're not supposed to turn. Hi, Carla. You're not supposed to turn the pipe cleaner. You're just supposed to turn the bow. I learned that. There we go. All right. 
So I'm going to put that about right here. I can get it with my fingers. See, that's why I like my tinsel tie. It's easier to grasp and turn. All right, now let's fluff this sucker. Okay, so we got four loops of the tan and the black. And then we've got two of the plaid. And then we've got four of the candy corn. And one of the orange. And I did that on purpose so I could hide my pipe cleaner. Just like that. I love that plaid. I know Missy likes that plaid too. All right, let's do some trimming up here. Do you, Jean? We'll have to do a thing just on bows for you. You know, when I first started, I used my um, Easy Bow. And, and I found that very helpful. But now, I don't, I don't want to use it. I like doing them by hand now. And I try not to get real caught up in so many different layers. I think it's best just to do a couple. If I wasn't trying to pull all the colors out and I had maybe two bows that had all the colors, I would probably just use the two bows, but I was going for more color to um, pull the colors out from the sign. And our little chicken dude, as Missy calls him. <laughs> chicken dude. I like that. I'll have to list it as a chicken dude. Comes with chicken dude. There we go. All right, so he's popping out because somebody said corn. So now we're gonna put our, now see, I don't know whether I, sh what do you think? Sign in the middle or sign on the side? What are your thoughts? I kinda wanted to do it on the side, but I'm kinda liking it in the middle too. Thanks, Peggy. In fact, before you were on, we were talking about back in the 1800s when they started with chicken corn, and Missy even said this, they, they, they call it chicken feed. It's still candy corn, but they call it chicken feed. Here's one of the original advertisements from it. Something worth crowing for. And this was developed back in the 1800s. So I found that very interesting. You think on the side. And Missy says, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of kind of liking it in there or more towards here. But doesn't it look like he's popping out? I made him today. At 1 o'clock. Yeah, maybe. Maybe just not on the side, but not in the middle. Just kind of right there. All right, let's just poke some holes in this baby. And he'll end up where he ends up. How's that? But this is one of my new signs. I just listed it in my Etsy boutique. I just, there were so many candy corn signs out there. I wanted to do something really different. You liked it in the middle? Everybody kind of, I don't know, I, I think I kind of want to offset it a little from him. So that's why I kind of think maybe right here. 
let me look at it again. I kind of think I want to do it right there. I don't want him as close to him as he was, but just kind of right here. Yeah, I look up candy corn. I found it very interesting, um, all that I was reading on it today. Now, I thought I had two, and I did. And one just, there it is, blends in with the floor color. <laughs> there we go. And I didn't have any black, or I would be using black. Oh, Got to make the hole just a little bit bigger for the tinsel tie. If y'all wouldn't mind spreading, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to go back to Mondays again, and I was trying to get on earlier, but it didn't work out. Because I had class, so... I can kind of disguise that a little. It's just a different, different, different candy corn sign. So many of us doing signs now, and everybody's signs are starting to look alike. Oh, thank you, Carla. Thank you. Thanks, miss. Yeah, and I, here's some of the, I started my garden flags for the fall. There's this one. These are all hand designed. There's this one. Hey there. That matches my um, fall. Um, okay. We've got this one. I love this one, how it turned out. And see, I can personalize it, put anyone's name on the bottom there. Um, the ones I, I ran out of flags, so I don't have any more blanks right now. I'm waiting on them to come in. This matches my uh, angel crossing sign. So I have that one. There's this one. I can put an initial, or I can spell out the name across also. So there's that one. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jean. Um, we've got my Let It Snow gnome. This matches my Let It Snow sign. But I, I also made a horse one today. I made a pet one today. The, the um, flags are gonna be $18.95 a piece, okay? The um, horse one, you can put a picture of your horse. Um, you can also um, give send me pictures of your pets, because I made one with paw prints. Um, there's one more I made. Oh, I made a beautiful snowman one. He is so cute. And that can be personalized. So, yeah. I'm trying to get ready for, like, the Christmas season. And the fall season, they make nice gifts. Like, I love the deer one. That's That one, I love how that turned out. Okay, what do you think? Did someone say corn? <laughs> yes, that includes the name, Brenda. Yep. Or... In the case of the pet one, you would send me a picture of your pets. Or in the case of a horse one, you would send me the picture of your horse. Um, I did post them um, down further on this page. I did post pictures of it so you can see it. But yeah, I haven't listed the flags yet. Um, they will be listed tomorrow. I kind of wanted to get this sign on. And I also did two more signs. I love the sweater weather signs. Now this one has red and green. It's actually, look at the backing, it's actually a sweater. Thank you, Jean. 
Yeah, I made two. I figured somebody might want one with Christmas colors. And then this one is the red and gray. Can you see those okay? Thank you. Thanks, Carla. So, sweater weather. Because <laughs> they're pretty popular right now. And there's little snowflakes around it. Um, but yeah, check out my page. All right, now what do we want to put on here? I'm thinking just some leaves. Because these leaves are great. They've got, um, why won't that go up? They've got some, like, black vine, you know, veins in them. Vine. I wanted to say vein. I'm thinking that. There we go. Now we got it up there. Because I thought this would definitely bring out the color of the sign. It would look great against the wreath. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put flowers, but I'm thinking the leaves because, boy, do they pop against the black, don't they? And if you're not, um, if you haven't looked in my Etsy shop, if you have children to buy for for the holiday season, I just put a bunch of stuff on sale. I do embroidery. I embroider uh, names on things. And so there was a lot of inventory I had in my shop of purses and dolls, stuff for small children by Stephen Joseph. Um, so check that out because boy did I boy did I take care of some of those prices I really chopped them in half some of them so if you're looking for some nice personalized gifts I would check it out okay so we've got our triangle to get our visual there visual interest I'm not sure I kind of like these they're just odd looking um, they're, they're rubbery too. These came from Joann's. It just says fall picks, but I thought they kind of look cute in the middle of the, um, leaves. So I'm going to put them in there. Just a little something different. I did have different colored pom-poms, but I think that that just doesn't work with this. I'm kind of liking this kind of little arrangement going on there. Like I said, I didn't want it to look... I... I like I, I originally bought this, but I just don't like how that looks with the sign. I actually spray painted a grapevine wreath today. Actually, it's really, it's not your usual grapevine wreath, and I sprayed it black today. So I'm thinking I'm going to use these on Wednesday in my design in that wreath base because this just doesn't, it just kind of disappears in here. So, <coughs> excuse me, I like how that, this looked better on that. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to try that. Like I said, I, I, I like doing different designs and this was... This was different. I mean, when's the last time you saw a chicken on a candy corn sign? You didn't. And you didn't know before now about how candy corn was originally marketed. I don't know. What do you think? Put some of these pit berries in there? They kind of show up really nice against the black. Let's see what we can do with those. I'm thinking 
in our neck of the woods, we kind of twirl them. We curl them, usually around a pencil, but these aren't curling very well. All right, they're not curling the way they're supposed to. So, it just, I think it just gives it a little visual interest there, which is what it needs. So, I'm liking that. Maybe we'll just bring that out to here. Doesn't want to cooperate though. We will just twist in there. Oh yes. I'm I'm actually working on some new primitive designs that I think I'm going to be able to put on wood. So I am excited. That's that's my thing. I love primitive. I mean, that's why I made those tear tray signs and the tear trays, because that's me. Come on. I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Just to kind of get it to go up this way. What do you think? I would love to come down that way someday. <clears throat> it's kind of hard, though, when you have grandchildren you try to help out with, and you have dogs, and what we're all dealing with right now. I really don't want to go anywhere. Just kind of do three like that. Oh, wow. You should go in there sometime, Peggy, and do a live. Go shopping. What do you think? Actually, I think I like just three going up instead of trying to take one down. This I think needs to be moved down to here. And then these put in there like that. Heck, they almost look like corn. And then put this one up here. Now, the question is, do I add any of this to it or not? That's the question. Let me try it and see if I like it. I love this roping. It's from the Dollar Tree. I love it because it just, to me, is natural. See, I'm thinking I like need just a little something here and there. No. Oh, good. Do one. Do one. And let me know when. I would love to watch. And then I'll give you my credit card number. <laughs> I'll say, I want that. I want that. <laughs> Find out if she ships. <laughs> got to break out the big guns. There we go. Another one right here. There. Yes, yes. This is exactly, but I want to move this over one because I want to move this up some because I want to put one right there. So, I don't want to crowd my little chicken dude out. So, I just wish I could have gotten more of these wreath bases. I absolutely love them. They're just shipped so unique. T 
tell her we are dying to see it and ask her if we can buy from your video. Hughesville, PA. It is near um, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, which is the home of the Little League World Series. It was canceled this year. A lot of, and it's hard because the, this area depends on the income from Little League and it's not there this year. So that's causing some people to go out of business. What are you thinking? You like it so far? Maybe not so high. Kind of push these down in more. Don't want them getting away. Yeah. Oh, Peggy. I'm sorry. I thought you meant me. No, Peggy lives in South Carolina. Maybe put one here. And then I always like to do things in odd numbers. So I will put another one right here. What do you think? Heck, I might even get brave and list this one. I never list my wreaths. I just don't know why. Oh, it's got a kink in it. Come on. Okay. All right, what do you think of our chicken dude? <laughs> Thank you. Aw, oh, thanks. It's just a just a different candy corn wreath, right? I love the way it looks against the black. That's my favorite. And I just absolutely love this ribbon. I should have bought another roll. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm liking it. It's just not your typical. Now I'll have to come up with a different sign because I want to use this. I'll show you the wreath base and I'll I'll show you why. I think it looks best. It's, it, it's just, I guess, the, the wreath, the dimension. Like, see? It just looks like it's crisscrossed. And for some reason, this just looks better on that wreath base than it did on this one. See, I like how that looks. Don't you? Oh, you'll have to give me the name of the store. Let me know if she has a website. But yeah, see, I just like the way this looks on this base as opposed to the way it looked on here. This was just too busy where I think this is just a simpler base. So I'm going to come up with a different sign because I did one last year and I really, I really liked it, but I wanted to do one with these. These actually came from Michael's. So, so yeah. So I think that's, that's our, our wreath for tonight. Yes, right? It just just looks so much better on that. And, and maybe because this was so full, or this is like narrower. This was actually like a pink wreath base that I found. And I'm like, I loved the texture of it. I just <laughs> did not like the color. So I bought a can of spray paint and spray painted it today. Yes. So any questions? Did you want to see the flags again? Anything? 
And like I said, on the page, you'll be able to see all the flags I have. <clears throat> I could add friends to this, or I could add to the... It, there's not a lot of room for a name, so probably just welcome friends. <clears throat> this one matches my Let It Snow Gnome collection. We've got the Hollyberry one. And I can write the name across here in script, too. And then we've got our Angel Blessings. Because, see, up here where I live, I know Lori talks a lot in her trainings about, you know, hey, make a mailbox bow to go with your wreath so it all matches well my mailbox is clear down to the road so what's nice is i can hang my angel crossing sign my wreath up and then put this next to the sidewalk actually it's a little deck and then i have you know this matching the sign on the door <clears throat> and this is by far my favorite i absolutely love this i found this deer and I saved him and I've learned how to edit so I took his antlers off and <laughs> flipped them and put them on the other side and made him a little bit smaller so he looks like he's got a girlfriend I know isn't that one cool and I can also put that on a sign too so you could have the the flag and the sign to match And then we have Hey There, my little fall gnome. And this was, see this one I put Welcome Fall on it. So, and then this one I had at the time around Mother's Day. I thought about doing one, I saw one the other day um, that says Grandma's Pumpkins. And I thought that was a cute one too. But there's more. There's a snowman. Actually, let me just kind of scroll up. Okay, you've got the snowman with the gingerbread man and the ball, Christmas ball. That's primitive. You've got the snowman. Oh, and I had the girl and boy one um, for babies. So there's those too. But it's just as you scroll down, you'll see. You'll see the other flags. Oh, the dog one or cat. And the horse one. Um, I live in horse country. And a lot of people up here love their horses. So I thought it'd be neat um, to put their horse on the flag. Welcome to the, and their name at the bottom, or just the, like the Langrebes. And then put their horse's picture in the middle. Just something different. Because, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I like getting something personalized. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that have really unique names. And they can't find something, you know, um, especially the children. Like the purses and the dolls. They're really nice when you, uh, you, you know, put their name on it. They like it better. So. Okay. All right, just, uh, you can either go in and order it off of Etsy, or you can just send me a private message, tell me what you want, and uh, I'll get it set up. Tell me if you want block letters, script letters, um, you know, whatever you want. I can do it. I love that buffalo check on there. Wouldn't that look so cool in a wreath and then the flag right there next to your, your door, next to your porch. All right, guys. I hope to see you on Wednesday at uh, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay? And the chicken sign is in there. The sweater signs are in there. And hopefully by tomorrow, I will have all the flags in there, too. So. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, poor thing. Oh my gosh, I bet you she did hate Christmas. Oh. Oh. All right, I appreciate you spreading the love and hanging out with me. Uh, again, I'm going back to Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, <clears throat> probably going to try and do like 6.15, 6.30, okay? Oh, thank you, Jean. That's so sweet. I'm glad you could join us. Where are you watching from? What was the weather like today? The temperature. I think we can finally turn off the, the air conditioner tonight. I can't wait to open the windows. I'm so sick of the AC. I want some fresh, clean air coming through the house. You know how that is. Where's Vernon? In Pennsylvania? Or am I am I seeing that right? <laughs> Vermin. That'd be cool if you lived in Pennsylvania. I'll have to check it out. I even um, waterproof this guy. So he's waterproofed. Okay, Vermont. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotcha. That's spell check. All right. Thank you so much and hope to see you on Wednesday. All right. Have a good night. Good night.